What's going on, y'all, man? It's Mr. Mel, Point of View, Clarence Brown, coming at you again from this 15-minute shake break. Ooh, that thing gone, though. <laughs> Just came from the gym. You know what I mean? Trying to keep it right, keep it tight. You know what I mean? I don't want that to be my New Year's resolution, trying to do that all year. You feel me? So, um, just wanted to leave something real quick. As you see, I'm bending some corners right now, turning it up for the week, for the uh, New Year is ending. I just wanted to leave a message real quick. This is for the fellas, man. I was talking uh, with my wife yesterday, and, you know, a lot of times this message I'm, I'm actually going to give y'all is related to women. But for me, I think it's for men because it applies to us as well. And so I was talking to her about, you know, some of her friends, some of the past people that she, you know, uh, had as friends and, and women that she has talked to and kind of, you know, fell out of relationships with in terms of friendships and things like that. But it, it seemed like um, with them, they didn't understand that this principle right here, this is very simple. And what it is, is if anybody can have you, then don't nobody want you. Now, you know, a lot of times, men, we apply that, we use that principle with women that are promiscuous, you know, promiscuous, but um, uh, a lot of times they don't understand that that apply to us as well, us men as well. Now, the reason why I say that is because as we grow up and we go through these stages of life as men, you know, it's almost like a competition among fellas. We want to get our numbers up, get, you know, notches on our belt and things like that. But we fail to realize that that devalues us just as much as it does women. Um, if I was a woman, I wouldn't want some man that's been with everybody. Like every time I turn around, every time I, I talk to a girl, they like, oh, you and Steve, like, mm, I, you ain't know. And you like what? And you're like, well, me and Steve, you like, God, hey, Steve been everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I feel the same way. If it was, a, if I was, um, you know, entertaining a woman that I found out, excuse me, in the darkness, but if I was with a woman that I found out was with everybody or everybody had a chance with her and everybody had sex with her, she's been around the block a thousand times, ain't no way I want anything to do with her. But like I said, this is for the fellas because it applies to us also. You know what I'm saying? If I'm a man and I'm out here trying to run the streets and trying to hit everything walking and I'm holla, 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 then how am I going to be perceived as a, a good man, an honest man, a, 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 va a, a value to any woman that's looking at me, that's pursuing the thinking that, you know, I, I am something that I'm not being that a good, being a good man, excuse me. So again, fellas, you know, we got to understand that too. It, it doesn't make no sense to be out here trying to hit everything walking when you really can just kind of, you know, do what you do with one lady. If it don't work out, then you know me, y'all decide to separate, then you move on and find somebody that fits you better. But it doesn't make any sense for a man to be out here running the streets. And a lot of times us guys don't really realize that because again, it's like a competition. It's like, hey man, you know, I want to get these notches on my belt. I want to prove I still got it. I want to see if, you know, I can, you know, get this woman it's like a competition between ourselves or it's between our friends but if we realize that if everybody can have you don't nobody want you then hopefully hopefully that will slow us down out here actually have us think to ourselves before we make that first step or speak that first word to a woman you know what i mean because a lot of us know that we have a good woman at home we know we got somebody that's down for us ready to ride whatever we say they're gonna be with us no matter what but again, we still want to see if we still got it. We still got that player in us. Yeah, we was able to get that girlfriend. Yeah, we was able to get our wife. But still, am I able to get this one over here to the side? If this one still feeling me like I used to have it in the past? All of these things hinder us from realizing this point. If everybody can have you, don't nobody want you. If everybody can have you, don't nobody want you. I just want to leave with that message real quick. And, you know, it's the New Year, so I don't want everybody to get tired of me right now. But uh, I just want to leave something real short and quick and fast and get out y'all way um, for this break. Because, again, you know, this is one principle that we can take into the New Year. You can take this into the New Year and know that if you are searching for somebody. See, this is the reason why when I was dating that I, it didn't matter how a woman looked, it didn't matter how beautiful she, she was, it didn't matter how thick she was, it didn't matter whatever she had going around, like, I'm not that type of person to where I'm going to be entertaining and giving, investing time and energy into a person that knows that they still want to play around with everybody else. Now, I'm not putting any fault on them, but I'm not going to be the fool. I can't be the one out here, you know, taking you out, showing you a nice time, trying to win your affection just for you to say, eh, thanks for the meal, thanks for the gifts. Thanks for cooking. I'm out. I'm about to call Steve. Nah, that's not the game plan. And no woman wants to go through that also, where she's investing her time. She's really investing her energy, investing her heart into a good man that she thinks is a good man, only to hear him say, uh, I really like Siobhan. Siobhan doing it like this. Siobhan, I mean, you know what I mean? Who wants to hear that? 
So at the end of the day, he realized that if you really want someone to perceive you as a valuable man, a good man, an honest man, a loyal man, God-fearing man, um, all of these things, then you got to realize that point that if anybody can have you, then don't nobody want you. And like I say, that's for the fellas. And I just want to leave that real quick. I want to hear how y'all feel. Ladies, do y'all agree? Men, do y'all agree? Um, like I say, I feel like this principle, we apply a lot more to women than we apply to ourselves. But it's just, you know, the, it's, just, it's coming down to the end of the year. It's time to be real with yourself. You can't be faking the fault and going into the new year. You know, ain't no future in front, as I always say. So leave those comments in those comments box. And we're going to chop it up there. And I want to see how y'all feel. And, you know, we're going to see y'all tomorrow. I'm going to try to do this as much as I can. Mr. Male point of view, Clarence Brown. You see I'm sweating. I just finished hitting the gym. Got this shake in me. Now I'm about to take it to the house. But I'll see y'all again, man. Happy New Year. And hopefully the next year will be a lot more prosperous. And, and we can have a way, way better 2017 than we had a 2016. But uh, I'm going to leave y'all with that. I'm out. Mr. Male point of view. Peace.